Hello guys, continuing our discussion in statistics, specifically with descriptive statistics, we will understand something called as quantiles today. There are different types of quantiles, we will list them one by one and the most important one is percentile. Okay, I will discuss percentile in depth. Okay, so what are these quantiles? So quantiles, it's a way of dividing the given data into multiple groups of equal size, right? So what it is, divide the given data into equal sized groups equal sized groups and each group will have equal number of observations in them okay i'll tell you what do we mean by that by taking an example okay and there are multiple measures of quantiles uh, before that why we do this this will help us in detecting the outliers basically this will help in detecting outliers so i will talk about outliers in my separate video maybe in one or two parts on that so we'll, we'll see that let's not get into detail on the outliers okay so i'll just write it detecting outliers so what are the different types of quantiles that we can have so the first one is quartiles so you might have heard quantiles quartiles percentiles they are all confusing but let me clear that confusion out here okay so quartiles what are quartiles so what we do we divide the given data into four equal groups so we have the data let's say this is our data representation and we divide this into four equal groups and how do we do that first we will divide it at the center so this is our 50th percentile okay or the median data okay and then what we do we will have two equal parts right and the uh, we divide those two equal parts into two parts again so that in the end we will have four parts right so this and this so this is our first quartile this is our second quartile this is our third quartile and this is our fourth quartile so first quartile basically ranges from 0 to 25th percentile so this is percentile not percentage okay so this is our first quartile The second quartile, this ranges from 25th to 50th percentile, right? And similarly, the third quartile, third quartile, this will be between 50th and 75th percentile. And the fourth quartile, that's the last quartile, is from 75th to 100th percentile, okay? So this is about quartile. Hope this is clear. What do we mean by quartile and what are percentiles? I'll tell you about percentiles in detail in a while. Okay. Once, okay, this is one of the measures of quartiles. The second one is something called as decines. D E C I L E S. This is uh, usually never used. Okay. So just for the completion sake, I am uh, telling this here. So in decines, what we do? We divide the data into ten equal parts. So, we will have 10th decile, 20th decile, 30th decile, all the way up to 100th decile. Okay. So, this is this is what we call as decile. Now, the third and important part is percentile. Percentiles. So, what are, what are these? How do we divide the data in this case? So, what we do? We divide the data into 100 equal parts. So, if we have this data here. So we divide this into 100 equal parts. So each part will be called as percentile based on that particular position. So the first part here is first percentile. The second part here is second percentile. Similarly, the 50th part will be 50th percentile and the last part will be 100th percentile. Okay. And our last thing, something called as quintiles. So here we divide the data into five equal groups. Okay. So this is also a similar to deciles. We never use it. Okay. So this is about the different type of quantile measures that we can have. Now I want to explain in detail about the percentile. So this one, this is very important. Okay. And before explaining that in detail, 
I want to tell you one more thing. All these are locations. Okay. So all these measures, all these measures that we have here are locations. These are not the actual numbers. Locations. So when we say 50th percentile, when we say 50th percentile of the data, we actually want to go to the center position of that particular data and then pick the value from that particular position. So these all quartiles are the measure of location. They are not the actual data. Okay. So now coming to percentiles in detail. So let's look at percentiles in detail. Percentiles. So where we basically use percentiles. So one scenario I can uh, give you an example that is uh, when someone has given the gate exam or the cat exam, right? So the results would uh, be in terms of percentiles. So let's say person X has scored 95 percentile in gate exam, right? So person X scored 95 percentile in gate exam. So what does this percentile mean? So this is not stating that X has scored 95 percentage of marks in gate exam. No, that is wrong. So this 95 percentile states that 95 percent of the people have scored less than this person X. And there are only 5 percent of people who have scored more than X. Okay. So this particular person X is on top 5 percent of the candidates. Okay. So let's say there are 100 students who have taken part in gate exam okay and this person x has scored 95 percentile that means there are 95 people who have scored less than x and there are only 5 percent of the people who have scored more than x so in case we have total 100 students so there are 95 people who have scored less than him and 5 guys who have scored more than him so this is what percentiles actually refer to and let's say if another person Y has scored 99 percentile in the same exam gate. So what does this mean? So this 99 percentile states that there are 99 percent of the people who has scored less than this person Y and there is only 1 percent of the people who have scored more than this Y. So this guy comes in top 1 percent of the guys who has given the gate exam. If someone has scored, let's say there is another person called as Z and his result is 100 percentile. Okay. What does this mean? There is no one who has scored more than this person. And everyone has scored less than this person Z. And there are, there can be many guys who have secured 100 percentiles. So that is possible, right? So let's say if the evaluation is around 625 and let's say the top score is 500. So whoever has scored 500, they will come in 100 percentile, right? And whoever has scored less than 500 will come below 100 percentile. So this is what percentile represents, okay? And how this is calculated? So this is calculated with a formula P L is equal to P by 100 into N plus 1. So why this divide by 100? Just to represent it in terms of percent. Okay, so what is this P? So here P is the percentile rank that we want to compute. So 10th percentile, 50th percentile, 75th percentile, 25th percentile, so on and so forth. So percentile rank that we want to compute. And N is our total observation. Total observations in the data. So if we have around 100 observations, N will be 100. If we have 10 observations, it will be 10. Okay, so that's what N represents. So now what we will do? Let's Take some simple example and calculate the percentiles, right? So before that, what are the steps involved in calculating the percentiles or let's say any of the quartiles here, any of the quantiles here, right? So what are the steps? So the steps, always the first step is sort the data, sort the data in ascending order, ascending order and then if we want to compute the percentile, apply this formula and then compute it. So now we will see how we will compute the percentile. So let me write some data here. So 10, 15, 25, 36, 48, 57, 37, 
66, 78 and 95. Right. So, let us say we have these many number of observations with us. So, how many we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, we total have 10 observations. So, in this case, n will be 10. Okay. So, let us say we want to compute 75th percentile from these observations. So, our question is compute 75th percentile value from our observations. So, how do we compute it? So, we will apply this particular formula which is PL is equal to P by 100 into N plus 1. Right? Now, we will just, what we will do? We will follow the steps. First, we will sort this in ascending order. So, if we sort it, the output will be 10, 15, 25, 36, 37, 48, 57, 66, 78 and 95. So, this is our sorted observations. So, this is our first step. Sorted observations and we have sorted it in ascending order. Now, what we will do? We will plug our 75 as P in this particular formula to calculate the percentile, 75th percentile value. So, let us do that. Percentile PL is equal to 75 by 100 into n is 10, we have 10 observations plus 1, right. So, if we do this 75 by 100 into 11, okay. So, this will give us, uh, let us say uh, this is 3 by 4, then 100. So, this will be, uh, sorry, it will be 11 and it will be 33 by 4. So, it will be nearly around 8.24, yeah, it will be 8.25, right. Hope I am correct. So, if we get PL is equal to 8.25, which refers to 75th percentile. So, what does this mean? So, this value states that the value of the 75th percentile is between 8 and 9 location. Right. So, these are our locations 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And what location we have got for 75th percentile? It is 8.25. So, there is no 8.25, right? We do not have any 8.25 in this particular list. So, it is 8th position, 9th position. So, the data or the 75th percentile value lies in between these two things. So, the 75th percentile value or the score is actually lying between 66 and 78. Okay. So, how do we calculate the actual value? So, we have to go to this particular location and find that out. But there is no location as such 8.25, right? So, we have location 8 and location 9 and the values res respect to that location are 66 and 78. So, how do we compute the 75th percentile value in this case? So, what we will do? We will take the minimum value that is 66. Okay. 66 plus the difference between the 9th location data and the 8th location data that is 78 and 66. So, that is 78 minus 66 into into with this particular fraction that we want to have. So, that is 0.25. Right. So, what it will give 66 plus this one here is 12, right. So, 12 into 0 0.25. So, what it will be? If we simplify it, it will be 12 by 4. Correct. So, 4 and the 4, 3 is a so, we get 69. So, our 75th percentile value is 69. So, is 69 a part of our observations? No. Right. So, that is one more thing to remember. So, the values that we get for percentiles for any of the quantiles, any of the quartiles or quantiles, these may or may not be the actual values in our given observations, right. So, the values of any quantiles, so I will say in general, okay, any quantiles may or may not be actual numbers, not be in our observations, actual numbers 
in given observations okay and most importantly what these quantiles state that these will actually give us the location estimation of those particular quantiles what we are dealing with right so in this case we wanted to check the location of 75th percentile it came out to be 8.25 so we know that the value of the 75th percentile lies between 8 and 9 so we apply this particular calculation here to compute the actual 75th percentile value so in general how we can write this so the value at 8 location value at 8th location plus difference between 9th and 8th observation right so that's the difference this difference is multiplied by with the fraction and what is this fraction the fraction obtained while calculating the location of that particular percentile okay so this is how we compute percentile values so hope this video is clear uh, i have explained it in as simple terms as possible if you still have any questions please reach out to me in comment section i'll be happy to help you okay so that's it for this video if you're liking my content please give it a thumbs up like this content and share it among your peers also check out my other videos on uh, machine learning and deep learning i have also some implementations uploaded from scratch in python okay so till we see in the next video happy learning